Although I'd already talked about these facts on stream, for some reason, it wasn't until I heard it this time that it actually felt real. The source believes that the former president will still have to be fingerprinted and processed like every other defendant. So um, this is a huge development if Alvin Bragg has decided to go ahead with a felony indictment of the former president. This was a, a charge that the federal officials refused to prosecute on or even really pursue. Uh, this was a misdemeanor in New York that Alvin Bragg has decided to elevate to a felony while at the same time downgrading other felonies to misdemeanors. So we'll be watching this to see how it all unfolds to get more information as it comes in. There has to be other people out there, even on opposing sides, that this will happen to. It's going to be an emotional time. Some people will be happy, some angry, some confused, plenty scared, and most sad. But however the people feel about it, we have entered the era where facts are going to be faced. People walking away from this are going to be able to sum up what happened in a sentence, but we're just now starting to understand it. All the bizarre behavior will make a lot more sense as we see the downfall the grifters were trying to avoid. A lot of people have pointed out that Fox is propping up DeSantis, but we tend to gloss over why that is. You can't lie under oath. It's the reason House Republicans are trying to hold their own dramatic hearings. We, we tease them for looking like raving lunatics. But that's because we assume they're trying to win. They're not. They're trying to make the whole place look like a criminal madhouse because they're hiding, in all that noise, the actual crimes the January 6th committee uncovered because you cannot lie under oath. That's the reason all those Trump officials refused to cooperate with the January 6th hearing and the reason we know Tucker Carlson lied to his audience because you cannot lie under oath and everyone except Trump voters knew that as long as the DOJ didn't chicken out. There would come a time when Donald Trump was put in a court of law over the lies he's been telling. MAGA fans could choose not to watch the January 6th hearings because their political leaders and the media companies of several billionaires worked hard to make the January 6th committee appear to be a purely political thing the Democrats were doing. But this time, Trump himself will be in court, and he is still incredibly popular among the people that vote Republican. Donald Trump will be in a court of law, and people of all interests will be laser-focused. And I think the country is about to realize that it wasn't really Donald Trump we were fighting about. It's not that the left was dishonest in hating him or his policies. It's not that the right was dishonest in supporting him. But the guy was, and yet remains, the personification of something I don't have a word for yet. Every time Trump supporters were asked about a policy of his that they supported, they couldn't explain what it did. They looked shocked to be getting asked about policy at all while they were at a political rally because their support for Trump had nothing to do with policy. The Republican Party didn't even introduce a platform in 2020. They might have lost, but they still got 77 million votes because 77 million people in the United States of America support a political movement that has nothing to do with policy. They made it very clear what the DOP stands for now is Trump. They said we are not going to attempt to pass a platform, and all our platform is is we back Donald Trump. Police are preparing in New York, where Trump has said he expects to be charged. Georgia appears to be ready to charge over attempts to pressure state leaders to change the vote. Michigan is building a state case in the fake electors plot. Arizona's AG has hinted that she may do the same. If Merrick Garland doesn't get spooked by his shadow, we may get a federal indictment against Trump as well. Donald Trump is about to have his first of many days in court, and the whole country will be watching. And you can't lie under oath. As the trials go on, more and more facts will have to be faced, and there will be a significant percentage of people that will admit, if nothing else, that they fell for lies Donald Trump told them. Before we have a conversation about whether apologies are due for the behavior those lies caused, or if an apology will even be accepted, we need to find out why MAGA supporters were willing to to believe those lies. The rift that exists between these political factions may not heal in this generation. It may be that we have to find a way to function with people we openly dislike. 
It may be that everyone who was alive when this poison hit us simply has to die off, and our great-grandchildren need to take over before the world sees true American unity. But in this moment, when millions of Americans are going to realize they fell for a lie, we have an obligation to that future generation to set aside the discussion of forgiveness, set it aside, and instead focus on providing them an exact blueprint for what happened so that it never happens again.